I'm going to start there because, you know, my brother and I are two guys, you know, my dad coached for 40 plus years, but we're two guys who were mediocre high school players. We both played small college basketball. Jeff played it very, very well. I played it very, very poorly, even at that level. And then we end up as NBA head coaches. So I feel, um, you know, for us to both reach the NBA, I feel like I'm something of an expert on coaching advancement. So I'm just going to tell you how we both got to the NBA. And if you will take notes and write this down step by step, you can go anywhere you want to go in coaching. Here's how it started. My brother got out of college, Nazareth College in New York. He was trying to get a grad assistant's job in college. He couldn't get one. I was coaching at Castleton State College in Vermont, a national powerhouse of 1,400 students. He was working my basketball camp. He got a call from a high school in Rochester, New York, McQuaid Jesuit High School. You interested in becoming our varsity coach right out of high school? He said, yeah. He went up, he took the job. One of the players he had was a real young guy, a sophomore left-hander by the name of Greg Woodard, who ended up playing at Villanova uh, in the Big East. At the end of the season, in the spring, you know, Jeff was working out his players individually in the gym, and the college coaches would go out and watch the workouts. So Stu Jackson, who was an assistant for Rick Pitino at Providence College, comes through, and he watches my brother work with Greg Woodard for an hour and a half, okay? He calls back into Stu, I mean, calls back into Rick, and Rick says, how was Greg Woodard? Stu said, he's good, but I found the guy we need to hire on our staff. They had an opening. And they'd already interviewed people. They thought they were done, but Stu was impressed with his workout, and he said, we've got to hire Jeff Van Gundy. Jeff goes to Providence with Rick Pitino on his staff. They go to the final four. Okay, I'm trying to do this quick. Rick goes to the New York Knicks, Stu goes with him, Jeff stays at Providence with Gordy Chiesa, they get fired, okay? Jeff goes to Rutgers, then eventually Rick leaves to go to Kentucky. Stu Jackson gets the Knicks job, he asks Jeff to come as his assistant, so now Jeff's in the NBA. Jeff stays there with Stu, John McLeod, Don Nelson, Pat Riley, okay? Pat Riley then leaves, and you guys are not taking notes. <laughs> Pat Riley leaves New York in the dead of the night, okay, kissing off the Knicks, and goes to Miami, okay? He goes to Miami, he wants to bring Jeff with him, but the Knicks are pissed off that Pat left, okay? So they won't let Jeff go to Miami. They will not let him go. So. He doesn't know who he's going to hire on all of his spots. And Jeff says, you should talk to my brother Stan. Now, here was the key part for me. And th this is very key. Make sure you get this down. Okay? I got a chance to talk to Pat. I ended up on his staff. But the key moment for me was I had just finished my first year. Now, imagine that, one year, at the University of Wisconsin, and I got fired. See, I had to get fired at the right time. I planned that. You know, when you're doing coaching advancement, you have to plan these things. And I got fired right at the right time and ended up in the NBA. So there it is. Just follow the blueprint, okay? And there you go, into the NBA. But I make this point to say two things. There's no formula. There's no formula. What you have to do, I never once was in a job where I was thinking about where that job would lead to. When I was at Castleton State College in Vermont, I thought I would be there 25 years, you know, and build a great small college program. When I was in college, knowing I wanted to coach, my dream job, none of you are from the Northeast, my dream job where I was hoping to get to 20 years down the road was Hamilton College in Utica, New York. I always thought, man, if I could ever get that job, I'd be lucky. You gotta work hard, become as good as you can be, and hope you catch some breaks along the way. That's the advancement formula. And anybody who tells you anything else, in my opinion, that you can plan out your steps 
is probably lying to you. 